Ever wanted to share quick thoughts on a picture or poem with a friend? Nothing complicated, just a few sentences, noting a few suggestions. Here's how you can do that with markup in iPadOS 15. Hey guys, it's Rob Super with Paperless X, a channel that is all about digital productivity. If you're new to our channel, hello. Make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications so you know each time we release a new video. And if you're already subscribed, fantastic one, welcome back. If you're interested in seeing vlogs from some of our team members, we will have a link to Oreo's lifestyle in the description down below. Screenshots are the easiest way to share instructions with your not so techy loved ones. You might be trying to explain how to add words to a dictionary in Nibble, for example. All you have to do is take a screenshot and add simple instructions for them. Markup has tools you get in Apple Notes. If you've not seen our full review of Apple Notes in iPadOS 15, we will have a link to that in the description down below. You can add handwritten notes, shapes, and arrows. You can add a description for a screenshot, text, and signatures. Once you are done, you can send the screenshot and you don't have to save it on your device. This is one of the best things about sharing feedback with markup. You can send copies that you can immediately delete if you don't need them. In photos, you can access markup when editing a photo. Photos have similar tools to those you get for screenshots. You can mark up an image. You can even do this in messages just before sending an image. It would be great if we could mark up photos sent to us without needing to save them and send them back. When exporting PDFs from an application, you have a markup option. For example, in Liquid Text, a PDF reader. I have to share these notes with Uncle Dan. And I want to ask him to check for grammar mistakes for this, for example. So I send this to him on messages. Because I don't need a copy of this, I can delete PDF, not to save it on my iPad. If you need the copy of what you just sent someone, you can save to files. In books, markup is available only for PDFs you have imported into the application. It won't work for PDFs you download from the bookstore, unfortunately. And hopefully, we'll have it for those as well. You get more features in markup for PDF reading than for photos. And these are similar in books, Apple Notes, and files. Apple Notes uses markup for PDF reading. The application saves the PDF in your notes as attachments and opens them in a separate window to read and annotate them. On your iPad, you don't need to bring PDFs into Apple Notes or Books because you can do that in the Files application. The setup in the application allows you to quickly navigate through different documents, which is handy. Here are some markup features you get for PDFs only. Hyperlinks. Markup recognizes hyperlinks, which eases your navigation through long documents. You can skip pages, which saves you time. The trick really is knowing where your hyperlinks are in your PDF. It does not recognize outlines in documents though, something we hope to get in the future. You can interact with the text in your PDF to highlight with five color options. You can underline or strike out. Unfortunately, for your underline and strike out, you can't adjust the color. You can add comments to sections of your document. You can also copy, select all, look up, translate, and share. Markup also lets you interact with pages to delete them. Scan to add scanned pages to your PDF. Insert from file to add photos to your PDF and markup as them as independent pages. You can't import PDFs though. It would be better if we could. 
insert blank page to add a plain paper template between pages of your PDF. We hope in the future we'll be able to change our paper templates. You can also rotate your pages. We hope Apple can give us the ability to duplicate pages or at least copy them for pasting. In Safari, you can mark up web pages, which is great for research. For a better look, you want to make your article show reader view to remove ads and make the article look more like a PDF than a web page. Then you can mark up the PDF as you would any other PDF. When you're done, you can save it to your iPad. If your iPad reading is simple, you might not need to buy a PDF reader. Before exploring third-party applications, we recommend trying native apps to see if they're not enough for your workflow. We hope you guys liked this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Thank you. Fantastic human for watching. See you in the next video.